There's a uh, question in the middle, Dante. Uh, hey, Dr. King, it's so good to be with you and all the, hey. all the community here. Um, I had a chance to go to Montgomery, Alabama um, at the Lynching Memorial and the Legacy Museum with Brian Stevenson. And uh, it's a surreal experience. You've been talking today about doing your own work. And one of my favorite quotes by Brian Stevenson is, hopelessness is the enemy of justice. And so I'm curious, like, what gives you hope? And how do we maintain our hope um, with all the tragedies that are happening, I hear so many people talk about, like, I didn't just lost hope, we're cynical, we, why we're still here, why we're still doing this, why we're still having these conversations. Uh, and I can, mm -hmm. you talked about kind of the semantics and the, the rhetoric of, of hopelessness. What gives you hope, and how do we remain hopeful that we're going to actually be able to be loved and get to this beloved community? Thanks. Thank you. So, you know, for me, um, it took me a minute to get to this, and... Um, it's really, I won't say it's simple, but it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's really eye-opening and it's, it's strengthening day by day. And it's just this. One, I look at what my ancestors overcame. And this is for everybody because we all have ancestors. Globally, we are in a humanity that has faced some dark stuff. And that humanity has overcome in those previous generations. There's always a bright light. There's always a contingency of people who are fighting in the light, with light. And I come from them. So is in me. So I'm hopeful because I know I'm a part of that. So I don't care how bad it gets. <laughs> this thing here, that's not going to remain forever because there's going to be enough of us and a force of us to continue to fight. And some of this is going to be broken at some point. So that's why I just don't give up. And I come from people that I know that happened with. And more importantly, I remember something my mother said to me. She said, baby, the darkest hour is always before the dawn. She was saying to me, yes, it's dark, but there will be a dawn someday and you have to keep working. And she talked to me about how when they got in Montgomery and finally the, 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 the officials filed an injunction against the whole carpool. The carpool was essential to keep the bus boycott going. If, if they could not do that carpool, they were practically done. <laughs> and so she said, that was our darkest hour and, and Martin didn't know what to do. Our backs were against the wall and they were in court. And in, at the break of the, at, during the break from the trial, a reporter came in the courtroom and there was a lot of commotion in that courtroom and people didn't know what it was, but this reporter came down to where my father was at the defendant's table and gave the report that the Supreme Court had just ruled that bus segregation is unconstitutional. Why do I say that? When we say the universe is on the side of justice, you have to keep the pedal pushed, knowing that at some point there's gonna be a divine intervention in the work that you're doing. If you don't have faith in this generation, you will continue to lose. Faith is essential to struggle. That's why this generation has to get connected, not to a church, but to a God who is always going to ensure that his humanity is perpetuated. He is not going to let all this defeat just overtake us because it's not just about the defeat. As I said earlier, the things that God is putting in us and the things that God is getting out of us. Some of us got so much hate and anger, some things are happening to shake some stuff out of us. Some things are happening to wake some things up in us because sometimes we slumber and we sleep and we get comfortable and so we got to put some fire on you know what I'm saying and it's unfortunate that lives have to be lost and I can say it because I lost the father I lost the grandmother not during the struggle but was shot at a church at our church while playing her the organ but sometimes these things there's better there's things that what 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 may and, and I'm sorry to preach like this because you got me stirred now <laughs> but what the enemy 
what people who have allowed themselves to be used by the enemy are trying to do to destroy humanity, tear us apart, tear us asunder, keep us at odds with one another. The God of the universe is still operating in this universe and he's going to bring good out of it. He brought good out of what happened to George Floyd. No, we didn't get everything that we should have. But there are things happening. There's things that are emerging. Some things are still in the ground. When you put a seed in the ground, it still has inside of it the ingredients of whatever that seed is. If it's a tree, if it's a certain kind of flower, it goes in a dark space for a period of time. And if you don't continue to water that, if you don't continue to fertilize that area, it won't sprout forth. So that's why we can't stop because there are things in the ground right now, meaning it's in the dark, it's happening in a room that we don't know about. People are meeting and they're organizing and strategizing and planning and it's gonna come forth. It's gonna sprout forth one day and so don't give up don't get weary as they say in well doing because in due season we will reap if we don't faint not